Oh, why hello there and welcome back to my beautiful channel, you beautiful people. Anyways, before we head into the video guys, I think it's very important that I let you know that I am now live streaming live on Twitch daily, okay? If I do miss out on a day, I'm terribly sorry, but I try my best to live stream daily. The link will be down in the description. Head on over, watch me live on Twitch guys. Also, if you find this video enjoyable or you learned something, hit the like button, okay? That helps me out with the algorithm. Now, with all that being said, there's nothing else to say other than let's head into the video. <laughs> oh my god, Samantha, you're so funny. Oh, hello there. I did not see you guys. Anyways, I'm just over here with Samantha. She was just telling me a funny joke. But today's video, I will be crafting some blood letters and some demon armor. Uh, as you can see, I have the artifacts for the uh, blood letter. This is called the hardened Debo, and I also have the artifact for the demon armor. I should also say that if you're crafting either daggers or plate armor, uh, come to Bridgewatch as you can see here. Uh, these are all the crafting burners we have here in Bridgewatch. So raw goat, crossbows, daggers, as you can see I'm doing um, blood letters. So of course the daggers are here. Uh, plate armor has a 15% bonus. There's also a bonus going on for this beer and holy stuff, which I do not care about. As of right now, uh, I'm looking to craft some demon armors and some blood leader daggers. And one of the reasons is because my focus is nearly at 30,000. So every time I get my focus up, I always like to craft something, guys. Um, it just means extra passive uh, income for me. I'm looking to level up my crafting. Uh, I should show you on my tree. So here it is. This is the dagger tree. As you can see, my daggers are right here. So my daggers are just... It's quite pathetic it's at level 40 and my plate armor is also quite pathetic it is at level 42 but i'm passively um leveling up my crafting when it comes to albion online and samantha can you tell us one of the best zvz gears that people should use well that is easy mr musy you must use bloodletter build with minor boots Jesus Christ, Samantha, you're such a dumb bitch. I'm not even going to ask you anything anymore. Uh, as you can see, I invested roughly 1.23 mil. I'm hoping to make back more than that. I also have the correct books. I do not have enough. Um, what is this? The blacksmith journal for the plate armor. Um, should I buy some more? Yeah, but am I? No, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, crack and salad. Let's head on out there to the world and craft. So basically, at the end of the video, guys, it's going to show you how much I invested, how much it costs for the crafting station tax and so on and so on but yeah basically i'm just gonna do a whole bunch of blood litter daggers and demon armor okay uh, i should say this the blood litter daggers are good for pvp it's also good for like group content when um let's say your caller gets a clump and then you everyone drops their e and then as a blood litter dagger you can e after everyone and just execute whoever's low health uh, the demon armor is good for support players that's in large groups and yeah if you know me i love crafting anything and everything so yeah now that i've explained that let's head on over to the market or oh, bridge watch to be exact and start crafting okay so these are roughly 400 oh these ones are cheap uh, where's the other station this one oh that's expensive 390, 355, 355, 306. Oh, diesel. 305. And that one's 390 and 306. Okay, I'm going to use these two stations. So this one down here, as you can see, and this one up here. So these two stations, I will be using them. All right, let's head on over, guys. So yeah, basically I am going to be using my crafting focus point points for crafting, basically, and yeah. Uh, we should do the demon armors first, so... First, can we use it? Um, yes, we can use the station. Awesome, alright, pop my food. And begin my crafting. 5-2. Oh no, I can only craft 7. And it's 5k. Oh, we're making profit. And now let's see if we have enough focus points to craft daggers. I can only craft two. Let's get to work. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> I got an excellent. Let's go. Yay! 
I made some profit. Uh, as you can see, my estimated market value down here has jumped up to 1.48, which was, yeah, it's a decent jump, I guess. I also filled in some books, which is also great. <gasps> did I bring the wrong books? No, I did not. Awesome. This is probably everyone's favorite part of the video, guys, where I um, do a estimated uh, market count, so to speak. So yeah, without further ado guys, we're gonna head on over to the end. You can listen to me tell you how much profit I made. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the part of the video that everyone enjoys, the part where I give the numbers so you can see the profit that I am making. Anyways, on screen right now is the numbers, so let me walk you through it. So I was crafting blood letters and demon armor. I initially made an investment of 1.23 mil. So that's my investment that I put in at the start. Uh, before uh, that's to buy the raw resources to buy the artifacts uh, yeah so on and so on so i invested 1.23 mil the hardened ball that is the artifact you use to craft um, blood leather daggers i bought them for 8k silver each uh the demonic plates is what's used to make the um demon armor and i bought that for 4k silver each i also used tier 6 kraken salad and don't get it wrong guys i did use focus points all right so yeah uh, i also used the correct box for crafting as you saw on screen when i was crafting these blood letters and these demon armors the crafting station tax cost altogether added altogether was um 6.7k um silver so it was the uh, 6710 to be exact silver um my turtle return so this is how much i got back after crafting was 1.48 million silver so that means i made a total profit of 250k it isn't much but hey at least i'm leveling up as i'm crafting okay so right now it's not much um, silver that I'm making back, but as I level up and get higher specs in crafting, I should be making a lot more silver. So those are the numbers, guys. And here is the part of the video where we discuss the quality. So if we got a masterpiece, excellent, outstanding, good quality, you know what I mean. So these are the quality of the weapons and the armor that we got. So for the blood letter, we got an excellent quality blood letter. Uh, we had one. Uh, we had one outstanding quality blood letter. We had four good quality demon armor. And we also have two normal quality demon armor. So that's all the quality of the weapons we had. Now there's nothing else to do other than to put it up at the market for sale, guys. Now this brings us to the end of our video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Please, if you did learn something or if you did enjoy this, hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. Also, just a final touch up, guys. I am now streaming on Twitch. So if you want to get into the... Uh, do you want to join me sorry um head on over down to the link in the description and follow me on twitch yeah anyways thank you guys for coming along thank you for watching this video i really do help hope sorry that i helped out a lot of you guys that's watching me right now anyways it's your boy moosey and i'm out of here but before i leave guys be good out there and if you can't be good then be careful mm -hmm.